Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm gonna go behind the scenes of a crab feed. So let's see what it takes to put one of these all together. So I'm here today with the local crab master, Jason Kimball. Jason, how long have you been doing these crab feeds? Uh, I would say probably about 15, 20 years. Was taught this trade from uh, the real crab feed masters that are now both have passed, uh, Bud Logan and Louis Mazza. I was blessed to get their great recipes and learn the trade, and now I do about 30 of them a year. Today we've got 2,000 pounds of crab here with this homemade marinade that I'm putting on here. So when did you make the marinade? I made the marinade last night, so the marinade to marinade overnight. And without and giving away any special ingredients, what's the basis for It's the a, a really light olive oil. It's a pumice, uh, which is kind of the, the third press, I guess, of the olive, so it's not okay. so heavy. We've got a lot of parsley. Garlic, garlic lemon. The garlic. That smelled good. I'm gonna make a cologne out of it for, you know, it's Italian just cologne. To, just to sex it up a little sex bit. Sex it up a little bit. So how long have you been using this particular recipe? Uh, since I started. My uncle Louie would make it for me and now he, he's uh, passed, but before he passed, he gave me the recipe. And so I'm carrying on the tradition. This is a, probably about a 50 year old marinade recipe. And the rest of it's right pounds. there behind you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and how many people are you expecting today? 600 tonight. And who, what's the group that we're feeding today? Oh, tonight is um, Oakview Elementary School. Okay, so this is one of their annual fundraisers. Uh -huh. uh, they're going to eat they're right at 60 at 7. Okay. If you want to come over here, I've got my spaghetti sauce going. Uh, this is my onions, garlic, parsley, and my uh, pork. So everything's definitely from scratch. I All don't from see, scratch. I don't see the cans around here. No, no. I see boxes of Ghirardelli and coffee <laughs> mix. Oh, but that's not ours. I'll let you, I'll let you get away with that. Pack our pesto and we uh, vacuum seal and freeze it in, in a five pound pouch. Nice. And when did you make the pesto? Uh, we make it in August. And then I have a freezer dedicated just for pesto warehousing for the year. Nice. We usually bring in about a thousand pounds of fresh basil and we make, I don't know, a couple hundred of these bags. So let's go back to the crab. Do you source your crab from someone specific every year? Does it change? Yeah. Yeah. How does that change? No, I get it from the same seafood company. He, he has about five sources, I believe, that he buys from. Okay. And he's been in the business. I believe his father had the seafood company before him, and now he has it. And uh, so it's second generation. He's been in the business like 60 something years. Okay. We get the premium stuff because of his great relationships he has with uh, the fishermen. What? This is all Dungeness. Dungeness. Comes out of Alaska. Okay. Uh, from August until about. December 15th, and then it comes to uh, Northern Washington, Canada, uh, Oregon, and then down California. As the season progresses, it kind of moves. Okay. So when did you receive the crab from him for this yeah. feed? Oh, just a couple hours ago. A couple hours ago. Yeah. Gotcha. He gets it in fresh, like on Wednesday, they crack it and clean it. And, uh, Wednesday or Thursday, then they crack it and clean it, and then I get it on Saturday. Got it. So it's really okay. good fresh. A lot of stations going here. This is Susan, and she's cutting all of this delicious, yummy smelling of a bakery bread. How many loaves have we got to do? 55, I think. 55? Yes. Oh my gosh. A few hours ago, these pots looked empty. Look at this sauce. It almost looks like an Italian made it from scratch. <laughs> Look at that. It. That is just ridiculous. I wish we had smell-o-vision because right. it smells incredible. And they just, this pesto? Uh, that's the same pickup line you used on me on fourth grade. <laughs> It worked. You got you to do my book. Oh my god. So for the people who don't know, who watched this video and seen you for the first time, tell tell them about our relationship. Where do Stacey we meet? and I went to school together since first grade, and she had such a crush on me, I used to let her do my homework for me. Really? Yes. Also, what was so special about me in this sea of white kids in this nearly white Catholic school? So I was kind of sheltered as a kid, and I only knew black and white. Old school Italian. I, I was really sheltered. Catholic school, you know, the whole nine yards. I thought Stacy was black until I was like 22. Uh, and I said, why are you always hanging out with all the Filipinos? She goes, uh, because I'm Filipino. I go, huh? I thought you were black. I thought you, I was referred to as my first black friend. Oh my God. That's what happens when you go to an all white Catholic school yeah. and when you're an idiot. <laughs> True. Look at that. I want to dip, dip my loaf in there. <laughs> right? <laughs> So we get really technical here, and the, the most technical part of this, very scientific, 
uh, took thousands of years to perfect is what's called the Genova French bread test. So everything has to pass the Genova French bread test. Do you ever wash this shirt of yours? Or is that no, your lucky this crappy? This about four more times. This actually is bleach. I was because I was spraying sure bleach is. in them. <laughs> this wasn't these shirts. Yes, I did see that one. That was like right on I used to move that pot by myself. And now, how much do you think that weighs? Um, it's 20 gallons and it's full, and there's eight okay. pounds per 160 pounds. Okay. I since gained three or four pounds. I just think you don't want to nip at this guy that's I tinier can't. than you is stronger than you. I can't even move it. I just am so out of shape. Well, you might not think that you're in shape. You are a shape. <laughs> Round is a shape. <laughs>
creamy Italian. Yeah. Right. Just like Jason, right? Yeah.